really fucked up. I never thought it'd come to this. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Get me out of here. I woke up this morning, last night was tight. Beak on my left, Miami on my right. My man's called me, he said, Get up. I said, I. Right. I asked, What's the deal? He said, You need to catch a flight. Remember them girls from the hills? You gave 300 bills. Fast scooped them, finna squeal. It's getting too real. Right at my other house, I see my sons on TV, but Puff gotta stay free. It's all about me. I ain't no Christian, but right now I need religion and my jet to take me to a place. With no extradition I love my daughters but some shit I can't explain Addicted to power and fame You can't stop the rain Arrived at the airport, feds on my back Mr. Combs, can we speak? Where the warrant at? Sold my assets to my damn self In a Swiss account It's a big amount, hop in the jet and bounce Bye bye United States Shonda made his greatest escape Just know Diddy create his own fate Take that, take that I just want everybody to know out there I'm the world's most gangstest bisexual rapper and executive. I like them Greek sauce, I like them BBCs. I like them BBWs, I like them BBLs. But guess what? I ain't never gonna tell. But I ain't never gonna be in handcuffs. I'm too pretty for that. <laughs> take that, take that. <laughs> Catch me in Antigua. You ain't getting no more bad boy concerts. You ain't getting no more P. Diddy rants on Instagram. I'm going low, I'm going undercover. Hell, I've been undercover, but I'm an undercover brother now. <laughs> Bad boy. I mean, it's your boy. <laughs> It's him. Hey, man, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So we're going to have a little short little video right here, man. Uh, We're giving an update on this P. Diddy Diddler, P. P. Diddy situation, man. Y'all know I was covering it yesterday. And what happened was P. Diddy got down, got his house raided by the feds, really by Homeland Security. It's getting real when Homeland Security is stepping in. They had his sons all out on the front lawn and whatever. And they showed Diddy at the airport in Opelika because what happened was they didn't just hit his LA home, they hit his Miami home, and allegedly they hit his New York home as well. So yeah, they looking for that shit. And they got some reasonable cause, and they got some strong evidence, I'm assuming, for the judge to sign off on these warrants. Now, where was Diddy was the big question. You know, we seen that uh, he allegedly was at the airport. For those who didn't see it, here we go. It seems like Diddy had, uh, it, Diddy probably has some inside information. I've heard that Diddy has like police on payroll and whatnot. They even got the person that allegedly, allegedly, allegedly killed his artist. Who was his artist? Biggie Smalls, the guy with the bow tie, the Muslim brother. Yeah, they saying him and his little brother was on Diddy's payroll. It's getting ugly, man, but that's, a, that's another story for another day. Apparently, this was Diddy at the airport, pacing around, waiting for the jet to fuel up, waiting for the pilots to get there. Yeah, when you got a last-minute flight to Antigua, you don't just fly to Antigua, but there's his private jet was flying to Antigua. Antigua has no extradition, meaning that if something pops off and you fly to Antigua, they don't, they, they don't have no type of agreement with the states where they have to send you back or when the states could come over there and get you. Seems like P. Diddy's been doing his research. That's a nervous man right there, man. I guess you wonder what's going to happen next, Diddy. I know. Boy, you know you're nervous when you ain't got no security. He ain't wait for no security to come accommodate him. He ain't got none of his yachts with him. He ain't got Miami. He ain't got meat meal with him. None of his hoes that's going to console him. That boy said, it's all about me. I'm leaving my children. 
I'm leaving my daughters, my newborn daughter. Listen, man, giving them a flight to Antigua if they want to see me. That boy said, I am out. I ain't packing no luggage. I don't need nobody. My sons will be all right. They grown. Come on, man. That's a look of a nigga who is nervous. When them feds in town, you got to get the hell away. Somebody tipped Mr. P. Diddy Combs off. And if we really pay attention with these updates, the Daily Loud has uh, put up a post that said Diddy has sold off all of his shares of Revolt TV to an anonymous buyer and is no longer associated with the company. What does that mean? To me, that sounds like uh, Diddy put all his money in a Swiss account. <laughs> They don't want, listen, before they freeze you, when the feds come in town, boy, they freeze them accounts. You don't have access to all the men. Diddy's a billionaire. He didn't gave Cassie about 30 million. Who knows what else he didn't settled off. But this is what this is right here. To me, let's, let's, let's zoom in so y'all can see this a little better. Yes. Diddy sold his, his shares of revolt, but to an anonymous person. He probably sold him shits to his damn self, if he really being honest. Just in his Swiss account, you know what, I'm gonna buy it. Yep, and I'm gonna continue to keep making money. Because Diddy, if his assets get frozen, I bet you he took a lot of cash with him. If his assets get frozen, Diddy can't have access to the millions. He might be throwing away millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, Uncle Russ taught him everything. Hey, brother, this is what you need to do. Get your money, get some cash, as much cash as you can. Da -da 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 -da. Ah. Yeah, this is how you go to an expedition. Da, 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 da. Ah, that's all that is. Listen, man. If y'all don't... I've seen my son. Shout out to my son. Actually, not a shout out to my son. What the hell am I talking about? My son is an idiot. Let's hear what my, my son had to say about this Diddy situation. If it's one thing that I learned from Diddy and this whole situation is that people don't love you. They love what you represent. They love what you can provide. They love their interests. If you benefit that, but they don't give a fuck about you because the minute you fall, they with the quiet. One minute you could be the biggest thing in the world and the next minute you could be the butt of everybody's joke. People that said they love you, people that was with you. Just understand that tomorrow they won't fuck with you. Today you could be the man, you could be at the top and tomorrow, Everybody will turn against you. So don't live for the praises. Don't live for the claps. Don't live for the awards and rewards. Live for you. Go to sleep every night knowing that you can sleep good because your moral compass is good because you live for you. Because all the rest of that shit is superficial and it, it, it's fleeting. Your best friend will be your enemy tomorrow. The person who loved you will try to kill you tomorrow. Just understand that. In this life, there's no permanent friends and lovers or anything. It's only permanent interests. If your interests don't align with somebody else's, if you don't benefit them no more, they don't give a fuck. When they, once they start praising you and they stop clapping for you and shit get dim, it's only you. My son, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, my son. You got the goddamn shirt that said, sold my soul. Yeah, that's exactly what you did right here. You sold your fucking soul. Who the fuck is defending P. Diddy at a time like this? Who? All the people P. Diddy done fucked over. There's niggas that done went to labels, uh, went to the radio station begging for him to let them out they deal. Everybody that he's ever dealt with is dead or in jail or they're screaming, fuck Diddy, because Diddy has fucked them over. But yet you're talking about you could have, you could be here today, you could be the man. What did it cost? What was the cost for Diddy to be the man while he was sexually abusing women and men? This man is a bisexual, powerful pedo, uh, 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 gangster. And you're sitting here defending that. And you're supposed to be the, and you get on academics. You're a panderer and you're an idiot. Tuck in your gums, nigga. You're taking the flap of your lips. Your lips, we all over your teeth like this, nigga. You can't ever see what to talk about. Shut up. You're stupid. I can't believe you got here and said that, nigga. Read the room. Who the hell is going to be? Nobody cares about jumping shit with Diddy. Diddy's an idiot. He let his dick just lose him out of billions of dollars, nigga. If you really care about Diddy that much, nigga, you catch a flight to Antigua, Antigua and let him insert it in you. Since you care that much. See, this is what we're talking about, man. This is why Diddy has been able to get away with what he's been getting away with allegedly for 30 years. Because there's people like my son. 
who allow this behavior. We don't we don't condone dick riding. Yeah, and he riding that thing backwards. But I want y'all to let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. We're going to have more updates all week. I promise you. I'm ready. I'm ready to keep talking about the diddler. <laughs> this is top. This is top notch news, man. So make sure that y'all like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom.